Hello, hello, and welcome to another Angry Unit of the Reek. And today we're taking a look at the Borg Ward 4, available to the 2nd Panzer Division. During the Second World War, the Germans were experimenting with remote controlled detonation vehicles. One of the more famous runs that you probably know of is the Goliath from Company of Heroes, a little riot controlled RC kayak can put a big hole in an emplacement. The Borg Ward 4 was the bigger brother of it. It read three tons and carried a 450 kilogram explosive on the front. Unlike the Goliath, however, the tension of the Borg Rod is that the explosive would slide off the front and then you would drive the Borg Rod away and then set off the detonation. You also the Borg Rod could be driven manually by a driver, of course not during the whole detonation attacking process but when you're just driving it from point to point before the battle. Now the Borg World was intended to be used against in place positions such as pillboxes, enemy AT guns, machine gun nests, etc. There are had read a few instances of Borg Rods being used against tanks, especially on the Eastern Front against T-34. So they produce over a thousand of these vehicles and they pretty much see service on all fronts of the war from the Eastern Front, Italy, as well as the Western Front. In game, the Borg Rod 4 is a 40 point support unit, kind of, available to Second Panzer exclusively. And it has a weapon, but it doesn't really. As you can see, there's no actual weapon loadout, there is one big sneaky boy within the vehicle itself. All you need to know, it goes kaboom. In terms of miscellaneous stats, it's got two frontal armor, one at the side, one at back. And it is an enclosed vehicle. It has a bad stealth, a speed of 38 kilometers off road and 88 kilometers on the road, and very low optics capability. In battle, the Borg Rod 4 has to be probably the most useless unit in game. There really is no reason to use the Borg Rod 4. And it's just mainly due to the fact that the explosive detonation on the vehicle is quite pathetic. Ideally, the Borg Rod 4 would be good in a town environment, you know, rip around a corner as a AD rifle squad in a building and you rush up and blow them up. The thing is, though, is that an infantry inside of a building, a fully HP infantry squad, is going to survive a Borg Rod explosion. So it's not really good at uprooting enemy infantry squads because of that. You can kill them out in the open, of course, with a good old explosive kaboom, but you can just do the same thing with a machine gun. Now, can't you? You think it'd be pretty decent killing vehicles. It can't really kill tanks. It can only really deal with light armored vehicles such as half tracks and universal carriers. And even then, sometimes it can get a bit iffy if you completely blow it um, up. And on top of all of this, you only have one shot because the vehicle self detonates, of course. And it's a 40 point vehicle, meaning that to be cost efficient with it, you have to kill 40 points worth of stuff. That's not going to happen. That's just downright not going to happen. So you're never going to be cost efficient with the Borg Rod unless by some miracle there's like, like five rifle squads all packed densely on top of each other out in the open and you manage to run up and blow them up to kingdom come. And really just like in real life, the problem with the Borg Rod 4 is that you can just use artillery or bombs or machine guns or cannon fire to do the same job at a safe distance and it's not like you only have one shot of a tank and it's done, you can shoot the tank multiple times because it has this thing called multiple rounds of ammunition. To be fair, I have seen people use the Borg Rod 4 a few times and stop in a cheesy A-phase half-track rush, but that's really it. And considering you could just spend a support slot and get in anything else that can, you know, supply your units or half-tracks of 75mm cannons on top. It's just so many better options in the Borg Rod 4. Yeah, that's really it. It's, it's a fun novelty unit, don't get me wrong. It's it's cool to have, you know, pretty much an explosive jeep from Battlefield in the game. But it's just not good. It's just not good. I would never recommend you take the Borg Rod 4 apart from the mean factor. And even then, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. And well, that's all I have time for. This has been another Rangaroos unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and usual, please just take it easy.